Hey friends, Pastor Bill Walden here with Build Up the Church. God bless you. Hope you're doing great. This is a devotional word for March the 23rd, and this is out of the Gospel of Luke chapter 4. And in Luke chapter 4, we see Jesus doing a ton of ministry. And ministry is kind of a biblical word for service. He's serving people. He's healing them. Uh, Peter's mother-in-law, who had a high fever, he touched her and, and healed her. He's healing people. He's casting out demons from people. He's, he's bringing light to the darkness. He's bringing wholeness to those who are crippled and maimed for whatever reason. He's just loving people and doing something about it. And, and uh, wherever he's at, people are flocking to him. Uh, in that day, it was a common practice also in the synagogues where the Jewish worship took place to allow itinerant preachers and teachers to come in and give a message. And so he took advantage of all those open uh, synagogue opportunities to bring the message of God. And Jesus, in his popularity, it's growing like crazy in the northern part of the, of the nation of Israel in what is called the Galilee region around the Sea of Galilee. People were just flocking to him all the time. And I can't imagine uh, the emotional intensity of it all. Uh, he wasn't like some televangelist today just waving his coat and, you know, having people fall down and pretending that something was happening. I mean, he was spending time with these people. And it's, uh, if you've ever been a caregiver, you know what it's like then. Or if you're in, in the medical profession or in, in psychology or helping people with any kind of disability at all, you know how taxing it can be. And so Jesus was fully God, fully man, and he's just doing this work and serving the people, ministering to the people. And we read this at the end of Luke chapter 4. It says, Now when it was day, he departed and went into a de deserted place. And Jesus needed his downtime. He needed his alone time. Uh, but so often, and we read, it was in time of prayer, speaking to his Father in heaven. And it says this, and the crowd sought him and came to him and tried to keep him from leaving them. Well, of course, you know, he's he's blessing people like crazy. He's healing them. He's doing all this amazing work. And they didn't want him to leave. But he said to them, now this is the key point that I want to make. He said to them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Galilee. It's interesting what Jesus said, but it's also interesting what he didn't say. He didn't say, I must heal people. He didn't say, I must cast out demons. He didn't say those things. He said, I must preach the kingdom of God. It's a very strong word in the Greek language. It's such a, an imperative thing. It's like, this has been uh, of necessity laid upon me. This is the purpose. This is the reason that I'm here uh, in my incarnation, of course, to go to the cross, but also to to tell people, to inform them that the kingdom of God was there and available to them and that they could receive uh, the kingdom of God into their hearts. They could receive Jesus Christ. You know, I looked up the word must in the, uh, in the New King James Version of the Bible, and I looked it up in the four Gospels, which would be quoting Jesus. And, it, and he never said, I must do anything else. He said, Scripture must be fulfilled. But he said, I personally, first person, I must preach. And then Luke tells us that Jesus said, for this purpose I have been sent. Oh, that there were churches full of men who said, I must share God's message. We don't need in our churches opinions. We don't need primarily political steering and guidance and even in some cases manipulation. Here in the United States, the problem with our country is not a political problem. As my friend has said, another fellow pastor, he said it's a spiritual problem. And so we need truth and we need it about the truth of God and the truth of man and how Jesus Christ came to rescue people from their sins. It says that when he spoke, people were amazed. And when he cast out demons, people were astonished. And those words, my paraphrase from the Greek language, they had the wind knocked out of them and they were speechless. And those are the kinds of people, those are the kinds of 
Christians that the world needs, that we are so close to God and so filled with God that as we just simply go through life, when there's opportunities to be merciful, we are merciful. When there's opportunities to love and serve, we love and serve. To the point where it's amazing to people they just have the wind emotional wind knocked out of them and they're speechless i'm not suggesting that we try to arrange those opportunities but as we are simply walking in the fullness of the holy spirit as it says in the new testament those opportunities will come i heard a quote many years ago that that uh, preparation oh my goodness how does it go Success is when preparation meets opportunity. Success is when preparation meets opportunity. As, as a Christian man, and if you're a Christ follower, walk close to God and he will prepare your heart. And then there will be opportunities that will come to you. And then there will be what we might call success or really a great blessing from God that comes to people. So Jesus said, I must preach the gospel. If you're a follower of Jesus, I want to encourage you. Not to be shoving the word of God down people's throats, but to be praying for a loving and, and, and a, a bold opportunity, perhaps on your part, to share the truth about God, about man, and about eternity. So, hope you're encouraged, perhaps appropriately challenged, but I do hope you're encouraged. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.